today. I've hosted the Red Brick Film Festival for five straight years, and I really need to step down and let someone else take the reins. You two were the best people I could think of to host the event. And so I want to see if you were willing to take it on, because I, I really done it. So, Jim, what do you think? We won't let you down. I'm Jim Wilchin. I'm the Dean of Students at Hendricks College, uh, but more importantly, I've been the host of the Red Brick Film Festival for the last five years. Um, this year I decided that I would take a break from the show. I'm Lee Lassiter Counts. I'm the Director of Career Discovery and Internships at Hendricks College. I can't believe Jim asked me to host Red Brick Film Festival. I'm going to be terrible. There's no way he wants me to do this. As you know, I'm Chris. Uh, I work over in the business office, uh, billing students, which is a kind of mundane and a little bit uh, stressful. So when Jim met with me in the borough earlier today, I uh, I almost pooped my pants. I called uh, Chris Simon one day. I said uh, I was looking for a number of someone else to ask to host. When he uh, kind of implied that he'd be interested in hosting, and honestly, we were kind of at the bottom of the barrel at that point. So I said. Uh, we think about it. Now that you've accepted the role as host of the show, I have to introduce you to the master, the master of ceremonies. Tomorrow I will take you to the master. He'll teach you everything you need to know about hosting. How to hit your mark, how to sing, how to dance, how to tell jokes. Everything flows from the master. I have to be trained by uh, an individual I've never met and uh, they actually don't have a proper name. They, are, they just go by the master, and I was instructed to call him as such. Um, the only masters I've ever really known are S Splinter and uh, Yoda. And who is this master anyway? I mean, what? What's he gonna teach me? I don't even know. What are we gonna train about? How to hold a microphone, please? It's go time, let's go. Hey. It's go time. It's go time. Master, I have brought these two people to be trained. I've been expecting you. They need you to train them for the Red Brick Film Festival. Hmm. It won't be easy. Prepare yourselves. Your training begins tomorrow.
Your training is now complete, young MCs. Go forth and host your film festival. I hope we uh, we knock it out of the park. I'm sure we'll do a really good job. I mean, I don't I don't fail at anything. It's gonna go over like a turd in a punch bowl. <laughs>just watched that video uh real real quick shout outs to uh jay burling who was the master in that video thank you for appearing in that uh and the dean and then travis peoples who uh, directed and, and did most of the script thank you guys uh, and megan stevenson for your hard work on that did i say the dean you said the dean briefly okay yeah good okay want to make sure i kept it short with him um so who are you uh i'm chris simon i hope you guys don't know me. I'm the director of student accounts and new host of the uh, co-host of the Red Brick Film Festival. Who are you? I'm Lee Lasseter Counts, Hendrix class of 2001. Woo. We just met today. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really old, but I'm also the director of career discovery and internships at Hendrix. So we're excited to be here to host Red Brick Film Festival number six. Woo. And so, uh, what's, what's this all about? What are we gonna watch today, tonight? It is tonight. Before we get started, we wanna say a couple of other thank yous. We'd like to thank the Culinary Club for providing the goodies tonight. That what popcorn you, is ridiculous. Say, what'd you think about the popcorn? <laughs> Yum. <laughs> <laughs> the, the judges row approves of the popcorn. Um, and Should we thank them? Who? The judges. Oh, we should thank the judges. Judges, would you like to raise your hand so that you can properly be acknowledged? Right on. Uh, some of them couldn't be here tonight. They, they really didn't like your film, so it's... Right? And the, that's what I got texted. Oh, no. Okay. Um, so, anyway, yeah, the, the ones that are here did judge a lot of good films. Uh, some comedies, some musicals, fantasy... You name it, we've got it here on display. And uh, what are they vying for, Lee? What's, what's back here? Well, there's prizes and cash. Cash money. <laughs> $1.8 million. Or $1,850. You work in the business office, right? Where you count money and yeah, take care of student I bills. Thought it, I thought it was a period, not right. a comma. Right, uh, okay. We work... Dr. Hines can help you with that. Okay. <laughs> not one, not one point eight. Not one point. Not one point. This lost a lot of importance oh for me. Gosh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so those are all the prizes available to the winners tonight. Um, it pales in comparison to, the, to what we're getting paid to host tonight, right? I mean, that's where the 1.8 comes in, right? I was doing this pro bono. Are you getting oh, paid? Oh. <laughs> Am I getting paid? What? <laughs> Oh, I'm getting paid. The master told me nothing about oh, money. well, <clears throat> the master knows. All right, well, tonight we have a lineup of 12 amazing films to show you, produced by your fellow students, directed by your fellow students here at Hendrix. Um, let's see. So there's a range, as Chris mentioned, right? We've got music videos, fantasy, horror, um, all in the, in the time range of three minutes. Um, and then, in addition to watching these films, we have the awards that we will be giving are Best in Show, Hendrix Spirit, Best Documentary, Stylistic Brilliance. Whoa. Why'd That's you bring heavy. a script? Because. <laughs> I don't have a good memory, okay? <laughs> and I've never been to this before. <laughs> you hate me, don't And I you? hate you. <laughs> She's old, her memory's oh, going. She's 36. I don't even have my glasses. Thank you. Thank you. Just in case you didn't do the math for my class year. Um, I mean, they did go to Hendrix. They can do addition and subtraction. Stylistic brilliance, I digress. Most effective, best writing, best acting, and best score. You try to remember all of that. And then there'll be audience choice. So hopefully all of you have your 
mobile devices with you because there will be some voting. And in your program, you can see there's kind of a halfway point. So we'll do the first six and then you can vote. And then we'll do the second round of six and you can vote. And the top two from each of those rounds will go on to audience favorite. That's right. So We're be ready be, for that. We'll be voting on six at a time, the number and the, uh, the, the text number that you can text to that number will be available for you at each break. So make sure to vote because that will be an awesome award to win. That's right. For somebody. So hey Liz, what's the score of the Grizzlies game? I was just checking it. <laughs> <laughs> We're up. Okay, good. Woo! All right. So, uh, on to the Red Brick Film Festival. Our first film documents the 2014-15 school year through the eyes of the musicians on campus. It reflects the impact of Here Hendrix and the growth of KHDX on um, Hendrix's live music scene. So enjoy a year in review. Hear Hendrix, KHDX, and live music by Hope Montgomery. Collaborations between musicians on campus have become way more prevalent since Sarah Hendrix. I think that we got to see everything that fellow musicians could offer, and that is like definitely inspiring to see one to spe see what someone can do, and then also kind of you want to reach out to them and take a part of that. has changed campus in that it's much more out in the open now. I think that we got a lot more songwriters as freshmen this year. I think that the songwriters who are on here, Hendrix, are more willing to play out and that it's become more of a community of songwriters and musicians than it was before. <laughs> That's probably my favorite thing to see come out of Cure Hendrix is the live music aspect of it. I think that live music is something that's really important. I think we have definitely seen a lot more live music here at Hendrix this year than compared to last year. I think that Couch Acoustic was better attended. I think Hardstock had better attendance. I also think KHDX took a part in that. We hosted a songwriting night and that had over 100 attendants. And I think something like 10 artists who each played original songs. I'm getting chills again. KCX has increased their number, opening up more opportunities for songwriters to come out and play, um, which is exciting because so there are so many that you just like wouldn't have known who play. Um, and maybe just like the more and more we show that we support campus so songwriters, the more confident they'll feel to show their music. I'm getting chills again. I think it's awesome when you look out and you can see all the kids who maybe aren't even friends with the person who's singing, but they're singing the songs back. I think that's something that's really like unique to Hendrix to see a community that supports each other that much. Being a part of the group of students that's only been here a year or two, um, we're really able to pioneer this new image of KHDX as an established radio station um, that it is um, creating all these great events on campus and um, just a respectable entity because it really wasn't as visible um, in years past. Like we're ushering in this new phase of KHDX. Um, this is creative and it can be whatever I want. It's really given me my place to that thing. Make of it what you will. Oh, this year. All right, what'd you guys think of the first film? Yeah. Did you guys notice that cameo by my brother Adam? and his date, Connor, there. <laughs> Are they cute? Aw. Mom says to call. Are you done? I am done. Okay. Yeah. So, what a great film about the music scene on campus. We have some very talented musicians on campus. 
Yeah, uh, I was lucky enough to do a, a KHDX show for my second time this most recent semester. Uh, I did a few of them. I hope you guys listened. I know that I paid my coworkers fifty dollars, and none of them did. Um, so I hope you guys in, enjoy some of the shows that we we offer here. They're they're really good, and a big thanks to to the Annas and Hope and all you guys for for doing a good job with the station this year. So, so. yeah, congratulations, KHDX. There's more than one Anna. It's raise, the Annas, right? Yeah, raise your hand if you are a KHDX DJ or you're involved in KHDX. That's lots of hands. Woohoo! Congratulations. And they have a great faculty sponsor, Dr. McClung. So shout out to her. She's she's a classmate of mine from Hendrix back in the day. Woohoo. When was that? Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, so let's get on to the next film. Uh, we went kind of from a documentary. Now we're going to go to a, a, bit, a bit of a different film. This actually is a choreographed film written, directed, and choreographed by Lindsay Orgren. It is a, a, it's a portrayal of two individuals in a relationship at Hendrix, and it's called Tired. So let's enjoy this one. Interpret that as you will. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> like yours should never be alone so I picked you up prompting just to see where this would go I love too hard and I love too fast so it's nothing new when you decide you're gonna walk right past but boys they come and boys they will go but it hurts no less even though I know I'm tired of being left behind I'm tired of hearing that same old line He loved me once, he loves me not At this point who's surprised I'll be left alone this morning To contemplate your life So close I could almost taste it A love so deep till it hit the pavement I could call you now but I know that you won't care If I left you now would you see that I'm not there I'm tired of being left behind I'm tired of hearing that same old he loved me once, he loves me not At this point, who's surprised? I'll be left alone this morning To contemplate your life I can't stop falling in love with the ones who are not for me I can't stop thinking that though you won't have me You're what I need I can't stop falling in love I can't stop wondering if I'm just not enough I'm tired of being left behind I'm tired of hearing that same old line He loved me once, he loves me not At this point, who's surprised? I'll be left alone this morning To contemplate your lies I'm tired, tired of hearing that same old line. He loved me once, he loves me not. At this point, who's surprised? I'm tired of saying that I'm fine. What do you think? Can you do that? I don't know. I mean, I might have to make a dance video next year. I mean, I have like my leg warmers and spandex oh. and a little headband. <laughs> Hold yeah. on a second. Oh. Hey, no. yeah, the master just texted me. <laughs> <laughs> he said no. Oh. <laughs> no, don't do it. I have some serious moves, Chris. You don't even know. <laughs> we trained together. It was bad. Oh, yeah, it was bad. There was lots of falling down. I fell. Yeah, me too. 
Um, okay, so <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Good job, you guys. Um, our next film, film number three on your ducket, if you're keeping track, is about a Hendrix student who falls asleep. Y'all might know something about that. <laughs> and has a rather unusual dream. Directed by Joshua Copeland, here is Fever Dream. So cute. sleeping for four days. Four days? Never doing this shit again. It's like you got a hold of my diary or something. <laughs> That was a great dream sequence there. Hey, Lee, what does your script say to say here? <laughs> Nothing. What is it? No, seriously, what's it say? It says, insert witty banter here. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what, Thanks, Chris. <laughs> what, what's your witty banter? Oh, my witty banter is, I don't know. Um, yep, that's my witty banter. Right on. <laughs> ah. How's everybody liking the show so far? Right on. Don't forget, remember which videos you like because once we get to that halfway point, you are gonna wanna vote for your favorite of the half so that they win the Audience Participation Award. It's like American audience. Idol, but less viewers. Witty banter. Ah! Witty banter, hey. Um, so. What's next? You have some talented classmates amongst you. All right, the fourth film. Are we already on four? Wow, time flies. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's a music video described as a film about the westward tendency inside all of us to venture to unknown beyond places. Westward expansion, adventures. The song is written by Hope, Montgom Hope Montgomery. I'm sorry, Hope, I just butchered your name. Who? Hope she Montgomery. Actually, she fell asleep back there. 
She's not asleep yet. Oh. Um, and it was directed and written for the screen by Marcus Jew. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, here is Westward Tendency. I'll get better at the witty banter, I promise. Okay, wait. <laughs> Sorry. All right. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. More musical talent at Hendrix. Um, I think later we should do Six Degrees of Hope Montgomery. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's in a lot of these, right? <laughs> she's kind of a big deal. She's kind of a big deal, right? Right. Okay. She cool. has a cool hat. Very cool. Not I want to know how you tonight. get it to stay on your head, though. Is there like a bobby pin involved or it's no? It's glue. It's just like hanging back it's there. Glue. All right. I bet you it's glue. <laughs> Five bucks. Uh, nope. Five. All right, so that was number four. Uh, we're uh, exactly four six of the way. C, <laughs> accounting. Oh, good. <laughs> Not two thirds, four six. Yeah, we round up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so next time y'all, next time y'all get a bill from Chris, you may want to get the old calculator or abacus. I don't know what you prefer to use, it's but abacai if there's oh, more than a, one gotcha. of them. Abacai. Gotcha. Um, so yeah, Abaca, we, if it's female. We're, we're, we're eight twelfths of the way through. Anyone take this. Latin? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Rosinski in the house? No? Stand around? <laughs> so we're, we're 16 24 so the way through the first half of this <laughs> festival. And the, fil the fifth film coming up now is uh, Journey uh, to New York and Back as uh, two students uh, search for a quest of fellowship uh, uh, two fans, I should say, ring in at different conferences for fellowship uh, to New York, and it is uh, directed and written by Ariel Alexander and Charlie Davis. This is Fans of the Ring. For me, 
see the fellowship represents racial diversity and how Tolkien wanted the world to be. In the beginning, there was a lot of internal conflict, but by the end, they rely on one another and recognize each other's differences without attempting to change one another. I think that the messages Tolkien tries to get across in Lord of the Rings are still very relevant today because a lot of the environmental themes that are embedded in Tolkien's work in Lord of the Rings are still brought forth in discussions today. At the beginning of this year, I heard about this thing called Lord of the Rings in Concert which is where all three films are going to be shown at the Lincoln Center in New York, accompanied by a full orchestra. And I was like, well, I have to go to that. A Tolkien group was getting started on campus at the same time, so it was perfect. It's very fluid. It's very uh, participant determined. It never ends up where I or Graham expected. From that, my Odyssey project began. And I asked Charlie Davis to join me. And the next week, we bought our tickets before we even wrote the proposal. I expect that when we go to New York that the music we hear will just exude with the themes that we've been studying. The music helps make Lord of the Rings relevant by creating an emotional experience that perfectly coincides with the story itself. And the interplay between those two will be personally relevant to each individual who hears it. One does not simply fly into New York. After three flight complications and only three hours of sleep, we finally made it. There in New York, it was incredible to see so many people gather together to celebrate their love for the story. We met so many interesting and wonderful people, and they just confirmed what I'd been thinking all along. What I really love about Lord of the Rings is I started with the, uh, the story. I love, you know, Frodo and Sam, but I love the epic themes of uh, doing something greater than yourself. In the movies, it's the music that's the bridge as well as the hobbit. The music did not add to the themes of Lord of the Rings. It was the breath that gave the themes life. In the beginning, nature was slow to react. It was just background. But through the music, nature's reclamation theme came forth. It was given power and eternity. For me, it's been something I've been involved in all my life. I've met a lot of people through Tolkien and through this group and uh, through the films. And even now, I see them and I'm still seeing new things every time I watch them. The music now is being used for clarity of stories. I mean, that's a really new, different thing. It's a dangerous business, going out your front door. You step onto the road, and if you don't keep your feet, there's no knowing where you might be swept off to. I've never been to New York. I have been to New York. Fine. Hey, if you could be any Lord of the Rings character, who would you be? Aw, I've never seen that. <laughs> but I've been to New York. Oh. <laughs> My husband's seen them many, many times. So I know about the guy like in the white wizardy robe thing and the elf ears. He was only in the white robe half the time. And the funny feet with the hair. <laughs> Spoilers, oh yeah, spoiler tag. What? Shh. We don't talk about movies people might not have seen, which okay. until now I thought everyone might have. <laughs> okay, don't judge me. Judged. Witty banter, witty banter. Witty okay, banter. <clears throat> so we're down now to the last film of our six film section for, um, for your votes for favorite. Um, so this last film, let's see is a postmodern deconstruction horror slash comedy. I had to read that one because I was going to get it wrong. Um, beware. Directed by Reed Brewer, this is Condemned.
uh, we're going to need some cleanup on the stage. Chris just pooped his pants. A little bit. A little bit. All right, so that's the witty end of... Witty banter? Witty banter. That was not witty banter. That was embarrassing. Poop is funny. Poop. <laughs> There's nothing funnier than a fart. That's not poop. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow, you've brought us down, though, haven't you? Potty humor. We're not going to be asked back next No, year. we're not. It's okay. Would you guys <laughs> it was have fun while it lasted. <laughs> no. <laughs> Would you rather Jim come back? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I paid them all a dollar to do that. That's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> all right. Okay. So if you've been keeping track, we are now 32 of 32 of the way through the first half. And it's time for you to vote. Um, Yay. Sonny? Uh, Travis. <laughs> Travis. Sorry. Ooh. What? <laughs> <laughs> Shameful. For shame. So there are six films you just saw. If you need a reminder in your program, there's going to magically be a number at some point. But just in case you need a reminder, we had a year in review about KHDX. We saw the dance um, choreography of Tired, um, Fever Dream by Joshua Copeland, Western Tendency, um, and Fans of the Ring. Let's all remember I've never seen Lord of the Rings, just in case you missed that part and you were in the bathroom. Um, I've never seen Lord of the Rings. Any of them. How many have there been? What about The Hobbit? Six? Nope. Um, I've seen You've Got Mail like 500 book, times. Right? You should have read it. <laughs> right, Claudia? It's our favorite film. We bonded over that when we first came to work here. You've Got Mail. When if you haven't that? seen it, it's a great show. A long, it's got Meg Ryan and Tom Hanks. That's how old it is. Okay. It was back before Meg Ryan got a lot of plastic surgery and looks like a Komodo dragon. Um. <laughs> you awed me for the Sunny joke, and <laughs> she just totally ripped on Meg Ryan. Because uh, nobody knows Meg Ryan in this room. Condemned was the last one that we just saw where Chris pooped his pants. So what's the number? Yay! All right. Yep. There's the number. So there you go. Vote. Oh look! Whoa. Ooh. Look at that! It looks like it's flipping us off sideways. <laughs> I, I don't know. Do you have six fingers? Yeah. No. So I have some Hendrix trivia. While Are we done? We're done. We're done with witty banter. Bless you, Travis. <laughs> Move. Move? I need what, my what, you've got a program and a script now? <laughs> so are we moving on, Mr. Peoples? Thank you. <clears throat> Everybody ready? Everybody had enough of a break? I don't know. Are there still snacks at the snack table, or are they all gone? Yes. Oh. There's snacks. Yes. Yeah, Jackie, Feel free to get snacks. Jackie's saying yes. Get some snacks. Ty's and, agreeing. And guys, for people that are standing in the back, there are seats. There are a few seats up here. People. You're going to have to sit next to Dr. Yeah. Morgan. I don't well, know how you feel about that. Well, when people go up to get snacks, take their seat. It's that there. simple. Oh, that's brilliant. Clever. Yeah. Clever. Nice work. Numbers, no. Strategy, the, yes. Yes. Wait, what? All right, so uh, as you saw in the training montage, we, we did a few dance numbers to, to train for this. And wh while everyone's kind of doing a bit of an intermission, Lee has been working on a dance. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> for you guys tonight. Nope. <laughs> so I bet you if you cheer loud enough. Nope. <laughs> who wants to see Lee dance? Nobody, nobody wants to see me dance. I can't dance without music. What is this? Crazy. Travis, she can't nope. dance without music. Which is a shame. Here we go. Uh, we're getting a roll, <laughs> we're getting a roll screen from Travis. So we're gonna we're gonna bust a move. Here we go. It's my turn to introduce. It is your turn, is turn. CS. Yes. That stands for me. Chris Simon. Yep. Go. All right, so the next film comes from director Jackson Fitzgibbons. <laughs> and uh, Somebody gave me a note to read about this movie. Um, it says it features the first ever screening of Ava Loveheart, formerly known as Ava Parker, um, in her starring role. Um, I don't know what she thought she would get out of this. There's, there's, there's no one here that's... Oh. No, it was totally off. It was fake. It's a prop. <laughs> it's what us in the accounting business like to call a prop. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so this is a film uh, uh, called the, uh, 
Uh, would you like me to read from the script? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he who makes fun of no, the script yes. does not get to use the script as a crutch. It is my how friend. to woo a woman. How to woo a woman. Would you like woman. me to read the rest? No, 1930s. It's in, inspired yeah. by the 1930s romance gods, such as Hugh Morris's The Art of Kissing. Right, but with less misogyny and a few more laughs. That's right. Good job. Here we go. Jackson's <laughs> film. How to woo a woman. Woo. How to Woo a Woman by Oliver Hughes Jameson The essential truths I am soon to elucidate are for the sole cause of wooing a woman, singular, as this manual's title most surely suggests. If you have any interest in doing otherwise, in wooing many women, <clears throat> shove off! When encountering romantic prospects, one, f one will find it most essential to present themselves in the appropriate attire. Finding love is not seeking employment, nor strutting a showy Chanel piece down a Paris runway. You must flirt with fashion, not take it to bed. Upon encountering a lady of interest, appear as a gentlemanly deviation from the otherwise barbaric and lecherous bachelors of today. You're William Powell, not Groucho Marx. Kiss her hand, win her wit, and dance to the timing of the foxtrot. Determining whether or not a woman has succumbed to your subtle affects is no simple task. You must note standard signs of interest, including, but not limited to, the precarious placement of her hand upon her neck, her unreasonable guffawing at your otherwise ill-humoured quips, and, of course, her manipulation of the nearest strands of hair. Once your charm has taken root, you must act swiftly, and with due credence, all momentum will be lost if you flop in displaying the pertinent gumption. When the moment is right, approach her with your chest clearly displayed. Take her in your robust embrace, and when it is evident that she is happily prepared to board the SS Canoodle, commence! I now have a moment for a few questions. Yes, the young lady there. Yeah, do you think that any of that would actually work? All right, so what a great film. And so, you know, we don't uh, give away award for best dressed actor, but if we did, I think Daniel Greer would, be, I mean, stand up and let everybody see how nice you look. <laughs> That's a tuxedo and a bow tie, just in case you couldn't see it from the way back. Yeah, we got to watch those films a few days ago to screen them and that- Or last that, night. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know what I you didn't do my homework tonight? ahead of time. What? No. Shh. <laughs> uh, that, so, yeah, Jackson, that didn't work. I tried it. Jackson. So, yeah. Hope, Hope, but, so here's Hope Montgomery again in the line of credits, but Hope Montgomery's grandmother, is there a story there? That, that... The sheet. The sheet? I, I didn't see is any that sheet. that code for something? <laughs> <laughs> I think they're I'm trying not cool to get us enough to enunciate know. it wrong. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Follow your script. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
Next, we have a music video for the band Mulehead, directed by Ned Curran. It's called Forever Out of Tune. Pretty much how I always sing. True. Take it away. I'm not very familiar with Mulehead. Do you know them? I do not. But now I do. Now we do. Hey. Very cool. Good stuff. Good stuff. So uh, we're coming up to next film. What, what number are we at? Mm, this, it's uh, between the A nine, and the T. I eight don't or know. nine, somewhere in there? Uh, sure. Nine, sure. Yeah. Mm. Good. All right, so this film is a, it's a, it's a time capsule of sorts about love and transformation, directed by Lexi mm. Adams. And, and seeing Wait. who's... What? Oh, yeah, it is. Sorry. Oh, how's the script working out for you there? <laughs> Did you I see just, who was starring in this uh, next film? Uh, this next one? Maybe. It made me realize. <gasps> right. It made me realize the theme of this, this festival this year. We should rename it. Yeah, it's, it's actually Red Brick Film Festival 6, Putting the Hope in Film. Aww. Right? Yeah. Good. Starring Hope Montgomery. <laughs> hey. <laughs> it's like nine for nine for you, isn't it? <laughs> All right, so yeah, here is Mondays. Monday, Monday.
chocolate chip cookie on a Monday. It's about the only great thing about Mondays, right? And Mimi to boot, so hot dog. Cameo of the year. Aw. Yeah. So. <laughs> what are you wearing? I got my bling on, yo. Your what? My bling. Your bling? Re I, we respect. discussed your age and like stuff like that, right? I'm old. But I'm trying to be cool and young. I got my bling on for this next film. Don't. Oh. No? Don't. You better respect the press, Med, yo. I don't understand you right now. <laughs> what, why are you wearing this? Because. <laughs> Just... Travis told me to. <laughs> <laughs> because our next film is a rapper. Ooh. Hang on. A rapper? Uh, some There's not four of them? Some rappers. <laughs> One main rapper and three dudes who stand around. Um, they do. <laughs> they stand like nobody's business. I believe my exact line was, you should not be totes jelly of my Preds med. Totes jelly of totes my Preds jelly, med. Totes jelly, homie. Script I had to wear writing? My Is there a script writing award? <laughs> I'm not going to get it. No. Um, okay, so I wore my bling for this evening's only rap video. W.I.C. Inc.'s Pen is a music video featuring up-and-coming rap artist W.I.C., otherwise known as Noah Whitney, put it on blast, T-Dog. Stop! <laughs> no, I'm okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ooh. Ink in a pen, pen on a page Page full of thoughts, thoughts from a mage Mage making potions, potions that change The way people look at this game Hey, ink in a pen, pen on a page Page full of thoughts, thoughts from a mage Mage making potions, potions that change The way people look at this game Okay, I write these hits like Shakira shakes hips Fiends flee ships when I let loose these loose lips Soon to prove this myth is real And lay it is real, my ill time and classy wit instills true feels and bit by bits and by and by my lines will find their way into a company of wise men four more than three, three less than ten only seven I recommend as legends living amongst us, breathing in oxygen my fellow poets I do fairly well make your waves and rise over them like a parasol, innovative flavor like Melly Mel, to dwell inside the shell is crab like, and crabs are bad as if found disgusting. under the belt, oh hell the bar is getting lower, I can tell rappers having fun going in circles Riding carousels, it's time for fresh air. Fuck for breeze. I want wind off the sea to fill my gut with truth. Watch my belly swell. Ink in a pen, pen on a page. Page full of thoughts, thoughts from a mage. Mage making potions, potions that change the way people look at this game. Hey, ink in a pen, uh, pen on a page. Page full of thoughts, thoughts from a mage. Mage making potions, potions that change the way people look at this game. I diced up all the mitches in the alley. Guess it's time to move. Liquids leak. Into the light, guess the cops will come soon. Another mass murder done by the unmasked bastard. I ain't hiding, bitch, proudly shining by the moon. Too few have met me without tasting they doom. Turn them stone cold, I'm in a Medusa mood. Reeking with lethal fumes, I am just a monster. With the team of ruthless ghouls that make my roster. We's Faustered by the streets that hunt in posters. Wolves that silence these lambs. Jody Fauster, Scadda. I hit the click clack clatter yeah. Clips refilled to killed by another blaster yeah. Death's angel, one of the two true masters He's turning pink flesh into that cold gray matter 
Uh, have you seen that death before? before? Yeah, I had dreams of peace. But that outweighed by the nightmares of these deceased screams. Telling me to avenge or just squeeze one shell into my mouth. Pray I don't, I don't take, take the ladder. ladder. True. Half of my life has been sadder than most. But I'm recovering like I'm Marshall Mathers. I'm a badass. Blow up charts like Baghdad. Keep pictures of Trinidad. James the laugh fat. I'm here for good. Unmovable iron clad. Legendary status. Wall white breaking bad. Ink in uh, the pen. Pin on the page. Page full of thoughts, thoughts from a mage Mage making potions, potions that change The way people look at this game Ink in a pen, pin on the page Page full of thoughts, thoughts from this mage Mage making potions, potions hopefully change The way people look at this game Hey Yeah, no, I got it. I got it. Okay. All right, rap video check. Check. So uh, there's a, a great line in that song, thoughts from a mage, <laughs> and when spoken, oh, my beautiful co-host said to me, what is a mage? <laughs> this is true. This literally just happened. <laughs> And he told me to stop talking because he wanted to have this conversation yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, we'll have this conversation now. I, what I tried to tell her was, if you had seen Lord of the Rings... <laughs> right. Then I would know. Yeah, or played like Dungeons and Dragons and stuff. I've seen him play on the Big You've Bang Theory. That's close. So. Oh, wow, okay. So I don't know anything, basically, is the moral of the story. It's about okay. pop culture. It's okay. Master, can we get a return appointment? <laughs> You got it? <laughs> All right, sweet. I'll send you an Outlook request. All right, so up next, we're going from rap video to action. Word. We haven't had any action films yet. We had a horror comedy, a deconstructed. Postmodern. Postmodern horror comedy. Adjective, adjective. Now we're going directly adverb. to action. Uh, this next film is directed by Noah Beggs and Kelsey Stimak. And uh, oh, I don't want to spoil yay. anything. But uh, it, it involves well, quite a Shh. quite. Don't spoil anything. Fine. <laughs> this is our BSF. I won't even tell you what it stands for. Ooh. We've intercepted a message from me headquarters. They kidnapped President Sue Stewie. Okay. So go get him. Oh, right. Yeah. We're, we're, we're right. How was that test? Eh, I don't really want to talk about this. You want this one? Yes, I do. Hey! Hey! Hey, you okay? Good! Uh, 
retract. Uh, Mr. President, how are you doing, sir? I've been better. Oh, good. We're gonna need another way out of here. No. Nathan, you got this? Uh, yep. Do I even want to know? Nope, just get back. President, would you like to step over here? Thank you, Timothy. We're taking down Mean right now. Let's go. And they wanted to give me a desk job. RBSF. What's it stand for? Oh. I don't know. Special Forces? Special Forces? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I Where's, like where are people forces. that made it? Was that right? Red Brick Special Forces? Yay! Woohoo! Yeah! Thanks, Kelsey. It's not the Red Brick Film Festival that's happening in San Francisco. <laughs> okay. Concurrent Special to this forces. one? That's right. I feel, so who was the extra that got to fall face down in the mud? I think you need a round of applause. Yeah. Who are you? <laughs> You guys don't even know who you're applauding. I don't know who it is. Did you like draw the short straw on that one? <laughs> it's like, okay, I'm gonna be the first guy that dies. Oh, I get the puddle. <laughs> I still haven't seen a hand. Are you back there? Where are you? He's embarrassed now. Oh, hey. hey. <laughs> Good job falling in the puddle. It was very <laughs> believable. <laughs> All right, so uh, I think we're down to our last film. We are down to our last film. Wow, this has been a great Red Brick Film Festival. You guys have done a great job. We'll do a round of applause before our last film. So what's, what's the last one here? Uh -huh. It's very French. Oh, is it The Little Mermaid? No. You sound like that chef from The Little Mermaid. Oui, 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 les poissons. <laughs> Ooh. I have a six-year-old girl that's in The Princesses, what can I say? I can quote all Disney films. Okay, so this next <laughs> film is very French, and it's about crepes. Pancakes? Crepes. Like pancakes? Like crepes. They're the, French pancakes. The, French pancakes, if you're from here. The little small pancakes. All right, I got you. They're, they're crepes. Okay. Okay. Just so we're clear, they're crepes. Pancakes. I'm going to turn okay. the page now. Moi je joue, moi je joue à joue contre joue. Je veux jouer à joue contre vous, mais vous le voulez-vous? Hey, hey, how are you? We have the chance to play with the crêpes. Imagine, Amen. He has a couscous, he is cuisine, the poor. No, it's hyper simple. Tulé, c'est la famille. Les deux. Tu as oublié l'eau? De l'eau? Tu mets de l'eau dans la pâte à crêpes, toi Bah ouais, sinon c'est super lourd. Bah après c'est dégueu, c'est des vieilles bulles quand ça cuit. Ok, donc on est environ une quinzaine, ça fait... Ça fait 7 œufs, c'est ça Non, 12. Tu comptes à peu près un œuf par personne. Un œuf par personne Mais c'est énorme Bon, ok. Mmh. Disons 9 alors. Ok, 9. Et tu fais quoi C'est déjà assez gras avec le beurre de la cuisson. On va pas en plus en mettre la pâte. Non mais c'est pour que ce soit plus fluide, c'est pour la consistance. Crois-moi, c'est bien assez fluide comme ça. Ouais. Ok. Mmh. On a oublié le sel. Le sucre, tu veux dire Bah non, le sel. Pourquoi du sucre Bah on met toujours du sucre dans la pâte, ou de la vanille, ou de la cannelle. Mais sûrement pas du sel. T'aimes les crêpes salées au Nutella, toi mais Non mais c'est pour faire une base neutre, c'est comme, euh, comme le pain. Tu mets du sel dans, dans, dans la pâte à pain, mais... Après, tu sens pas quand tu manges une tartine. Puis au moins, les gens, ils choisiront s'ils veulent du sucre ou du salé. Bon, si on mettait ni sel ni sucre, bah oh, vraiment, ça va être trop fade. Mais t'inquiète, y'a la bière qu'on n'a pas encore mise. Ça relèverait un peu. La bière C'est la recette originale. Mais ça se sent très peu, t'en fais pas. Hein. Oh, ça me fait vomir, les bières, je déteste ça. Un tout petit peu. Non, 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 non. Un verre. Un verre C'est un... énorme, non Un demi-verre. Ok, et eh ben je mets l'huile que t'as pas voulu tout à l'heure. Ah non Pauline, on a passé l'âge. T'as raison, Anise. Alors, pose cette bière. Mmh. 
pancakes <laughs> that was great all right so let's have one Say more magnifique. round of a yeah. oh. oh one more round of applause for all of our entrants this year <laughs> all right so it's that time again we are through with the second half of films travis if you would please put up the numbers that people can yeah yeah, there we go. Yay. So, same scheme as last time. Text your favorite of these six to the number up there, 650-600-9016. Or visit m.smspoll.net. SMS, right? Yes. SMS, okay. SMSpoll.net. And we'll give you guys a little bit of time to do that. Now, what's going to happen is the top two from this group and the top two from the first group are gonna go head to head, kind of a final four after March, sort of. It'll still be madness though. It'll be, it'll be madness, absolute madness. So text your vote in. Text. I don't see any texting, no you texting. You already voted? No one in the VIP section is voting. You already uh, did They're VIPs, they're quick. Oh, they're kind of a big deal. They get early access to voting. It's like first class. Very important pleas. That's what VIP stands for, right? Ooh. <laughs> I like it. If Ty's name started with an I, it would be perfect. Victoria Ty Plez. But Ty starts with a T. Way to go, Ty. What's his middle Jeez. name? <laughs> Ty. Oh. <laughs> What's his real first name? Oh, Ty. crap. Let's give him a middle Ty, name. Ty, Ty, Bradley. <laughs> What's your real first name? Ivan. <laughs> Ivan. I was Ty's going with Bradley. Ichabod. Ichabod, that's a good one too. Ooh. Ooh. You guys know how to woo a director. <laughs> Who doesn't want to hear Dr. Benny read anything? I mean, his voice is so delightful. All right, so uh, give me a hand. Are, are votes finalized for this section? Yes. So now Travis is going to work his magic to bring up the. Work the, that magic the final four so that you can see those to vote on. In the meantime, I don't know, um, Hendrix Trivia? Yeah. <laughs> I have no prizes. This is all for pride and glory. Um, so let's see, where should we start? Um, who can tell me, let's guess, um, where are pecan shells come from? State. Can't, no can't staff, vote. no Just staff. shout it out. <laughs> I hear Ohio, what else? Texas. Missouri. Ooh, that's somebody that's from there. Missouri. It's Texas, Florida. It's Texas. Good job. Now, how many, how many 
I'm trying to think of the right measurement. Hang on, I wrote it down. Because y'all know me, I like my script. <laughs> Hang on. It's going to be a really good question. You prepared these questions? Why don't you do some Hendrix trivia, smarty pants? Okay. <laughs> hey, here we go. All right. Uh, so so uh, how many tons of pecan shells do we put out at Hendrix every year? This is, this is Hendrix trivia, not pecan trivia. Pecans are very Hendrixy. Two tons, what else? I heard four. Way, way off. There was four. You're cold. <laughs> 20, yay! 30, someone said 36. 20, 20. 20. Thank the Lord we have our top four and I can stop vamping. <laughs> so it looks like our top four are Fever Dream by Joshua Copeland, right? Yeah. Um, Westward Tendency with Hope, go figure. Um, how to Woo a Woman. Oh, can we say it like we that can just from like, now on? How to Woo a oh. Woman. Ink's Pen. And by oh, WIC. That's, <laughs> that's four. Do you need to put your bling back on if you're going to announce the fourth film? <laughs> no. No? Oh, I could if you wanted to. I could to. be Totes Jelly of your Presmith. What does WIC stand for? That's what I want to know. What? Within I Create? Okay. There you go. That's what, if, in case you were wondering, like I was. It's mage speak. Mage speak, right. <laughs> so text in your votes. Oh, the bars are moving. Maybe. <laughs> uh. Uh. Wait, do we, do we How long is this madness going to go on, Travis? Oh. 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 Oh, no. Oh, no. Everyone's disqualified. <laughs> Can we have a poll on favorite MC? <laughs> oh. <laughs> For Simon. Jim Wilchin. Woo boo. Oh. The boo. master. Oh, the master. Yay. So now what? Uh, please stand by. We're gonna we're gonna vamp <laughs> some more. How to woo a woman? Oh, how to woo a woman? One. I can just say that. How to oh, woo a yay. woman? One. <laughs> Is there an award? Audience choice right here. Okay. Audience choice. Everybody involved with How to Woo a Woman, come on up. Come get your award. And the winner is... You have just won your share of $1.8 million. Congratulations on winning the 2015 Red Brick Film Festival Award for Audience Choice. Who will be accepting this award? Oh, you Mr. would. Mr. Fitzgibbon, your envelope. Congratulations, guys and ladies, ladies and gents. You're, you're welcome to say a few words if you'd like. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Uh, no, real quick, I just want to thank Claire so much for when I called, pick up the phone. Uh, and saying she was willing to make a movie with me. And then also to Daniel and to Lily and to Claudia and Nicole, thank you so much for being a part of our film. And thank you all. Where's Dr. Benny? Oh, uh, He's wooing women. <laughs> or he's asleep. What time is it? <laughs> I would be asleep right now. It's not just... So old. I'm very old. Good all job, right. guys. Good job. Do we just... Oh, we do give away a Best Acting Award. Okay. I might have said earlier that we didn't, but we do. Okay. All so, right. Best, you want to you start acting, this off? Right, Travis? Woo, hey, there's a crack in the stage. You, right you do the envelope. I'll hold the brick. I'm just going to try not to fall down. <laughs> oh. All right. So we have an award for Best Acting. Check. Drum roll. Oh, you really did it. Ooh. Okay. So the award for Best Acting goes to... Daniel Greer and How to Woo a Woman. It's looking like a sweep. <laughs> <laughs> and also best dress. Don't forget that. Okay. All right. Um, best writing. Here, you, just, you is there an order? Brick. Okay. 
All right. I'm going to Vanna. Get this piece of red brick for best writing. And the award goes to? The award goes to. Oh, there's a, a weak drum roll out there. Yeah. I hear it somewhere. They all know it's about to happen. Uh-oh. What's about <laughs> to happen, Chris? The 2015 Red Brick Film Festival Award for Best Writing goes to... How, How to, to woo, woo a woman. <laughs> Jackson, Fitzgibbon. Jackson Fitzgibbon. I don't have a way to clap with a you, brick and you, a microphone. There's a seat right Good there. Job. If you just want to sit there. Do you want to? Nice work. Don't do it. I'll write something later. <laughs> just sit there. You'll be back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, three for three. Is there an order, Travis? No, we're just going to go crazy. Left or right? What? No, let's. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, All right, let's, let's do the yeah. other brick. Okay, let's do the other brick, shall we? All right. Brick. Best original film score. You have a post-it note stuck to your sheet. I wish yes. we hadn't. I have a. Oh, my God, I do. Let me help you. Thank you. Is there things I do for you? Oh. Okay, wait. It's different. What are we? Okay. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Shucker. So, the 2015 Red Brick Film Festival Award for Best Score goes to... W.I.C. Inks Pen. By Hannah Whitney. Hannah Whitney. Good job. <laughs> Ink in the pen. Pen on the page. I feel like we could, we could pop that if we needed to. Good yeah. job. Congratulations. Well, good job, little brother. There you go. Congratulations. Yay. All right, all right. When he's rich and famous someday, he'll have to remember where he got his start, okay? That's the deal. All right, so... Endowed eeny, scholarship, anyone? Okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, I'm a mo. former fundraiser. I just can't turn it off. All right, most effective. Affective with an A. Affect. For you English majors out there. There we go. You don't even need a cue. This is great. We've trained them quite well. Okay, the award start? for the 2015 Red Brick Film Festival Award for more, Most Effective goes to... The Westward Tendency. Marcus Zhu. Good job, Marcus. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yay. All right, let's see. Stylistic brilliance. Stylistic brilliance. I just like to say that. Stylistic brilliance. Hey, are How are you today? I'm stylistic brilliance. Um, we've been fired. <laughs> from this or forever? <laughs> Is this like from our day job? I'm okay, okay with the first scenario. Prize winners should oh. stick around to discuss their awards. See me. See Travis. Should they also stick around to get their picture made with the Yeah, award? yeah, there will be people to take your picture if you haven't already done so. At, so. The, at the wall of taking your picture. Yes. Place. All right, red carpet. Okay. Orange carpet. Orange carpet. Stylistic brilliance. Yes, banter. Who wants to hear? Okay, the award for stylistic brilliance goes to Hannah Whitney, WIC Inks Pin. <laughs> That one is yours, Hannah. So this one's yours, not your brother's. This one's yours. Good job. <laughs> Congratulations. All right. Okay. Oh. Feel the love out there. All right. Next just, award. You yeah. can hold one of these things. I will hold one of these things. <laughs> Goes to best, best it's for best documentary. documentary. I bet it's that horror film. <laughs> and the award for best documentary goes to A Year in Review, Here Hendrix, KHDX, and Live Music by Hope Montgomery. She had to win one of them. She right? was bound to win something because she was in every film, but <laughs> good job. Uh, 
Yay. Okay. All right. <laughs> now, two more. Two more. Two down. All right. So we have the Hendrix Spirit Award now. You hold that one this time. Okie dokie. Mix it up. Hendrix Spirit. All right. The 2015 Red Brick Film Festival Aww. Award. Yeah. Yeah. Look, at it says Hendrix. <laughs> Hendrix is this <laughs> Sorry. The, the Hendrix. The Hendrix Spirit <laughs> Award goes to Mondays. Lexi. Lexi Adams. Lexi Adams. Yay! Congratulations. Make sure your trophy is spelled correctly. Your trophy is spelled correctly. Okay, it's just the card. We'll we get can have it one. redone. It's a 3D printer. <laughs> Congratulations, Lexi. All right. Every time you eat a chocolate chip cookie, you can think about like. I, I heard they did that all in one day. What? The cookies. Oh, that's a lot of cookies. I know. Okay, you ready? All right, here's Best the one you've been show. waiting for. Here. Oh. Yes. Right. I'm gonna hold the award. You apparently. get to read this one though. Oh. All right. Best in show for the Red Brick Film Festival 2015. I'm dying over here. How the woo woman, Jackson Fitzgibbon. Woo. Congratulations. <laughs> Good job, you guys and gals. Congrats. Oh. All right, you guys, thanks for coming out. Congratulations to all the winners. Just a few thank yous again to the Culinary Club. Thanks to Chris, my great co-host. Yeah, thank you, Lee. And the master for training us and Jim for handing over the reins. And a big special thank you to Travis and Megan. They do a lot of hard work Yeah, big work round on of this. applause. Congratulations. And to all their student workers who have helped. Absolutely. Thank you, everybody. Y'all have a good night. <laughs>